well, hello there, and welcome back to Off The Tracks. My name's Lee, and today, oh, you're in for a treat. It's Ride It, Pie It, Top 5 It, and I'm here with none other than my main man, Coaster Dan. How oh, you getting on, my mate? I'm all good, thank you, I'm all good. Uh, make sure you do check out our last video when we did the wonderful, the incredible Conda. Not Condor, Conda. Conda. Con anyway, con <laughs> Ride It, Pie It, Top 5 It. It's very simple, guys. We, 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 we review a ride, for example... We ride it. It's all right. Queue for no more than 10, 15 minutes for it. Obviously, we pie it, which means absolutely awful. Not in a million years. If you paid me, I wouldn't even go on it. And then we've got top five it, which means every day I'll be riding this thing till the sun goes down. Yeah, so, boy. Lee, what ride have we decided to review? No, I've picked this one because I know you're going to say it wrong, Dan. So it's Tiki Waka over at Wallaby Belgium. We're carrying on with the Wallaby Belgium hype train. <laughs> this one's a, a Gerslauer steel bobsled coaster, and we rode it on our trip over there, didn't we, Dan? What a coaster. It is. It's a it's a it's a very cute coaster. I mean, you, mm. you can't miss it because it's literally around the area itself as you first walk into uh this exotic world, which I do believe opened in 2018 the this coaster did but i think there, it was like an investment once it ran the area I think yeah it's like, it like a 100 million pound investment although wikipedia says a hundred thousand euros i have i have seen some investment things i have as well i have i don't believe that <laughs> things <laughs> yeah apparently a hundred million went into the area overall so you know rides theming that kind of thing so and it shows doesn't it because that whole area of the park including conda is just wonderful it is. Uh, the, obviously, the coaster itself cost, uh, I think it was like 7.8 million euros it was. Um, but like you said earlier on, Lee, the, the ride itself is so, especially when the sun's out as well, because you just feel that kind mm. of, the atmosphere. And uh, it's just so beautiful. The uh, the yeah, layout absolutely. is as well is just insane of this roller coaster. It, it looks insane, the layout. I mean, I'm sure we'll have some POVs and stuff going on. And yeah, the, the, up there, the, the layout looks mental. It just looks sort of all over the place. It's not uniformed at all. And I love the colors as well, like yellow <sighs> support and the turquoisey green track. I think it just looks spot on. And as you're approaching the ride, you're sort of looking up at it like, all right, this looks cool. And then you see these little four man bob cars. Yeah. Really, really individual, unique coaster for Europe, you know? Oh, a hundred percent. And it's quite high as well. I think it's like, yeah. I think it's like 70 foot. I think it is or something like that uh, in the air. So it's, it's quite intense up there. But like you said, when you're going around the actual uh, area itself, like with the ride, it's kind of, you got that lake bit. Do you remember that lake bit where you kind of yeah. you dip down into it and then you kind of like do a helix around it? Mm. I mean, wow. It's it's, it's a, such a good coaster. Really. It's a very Fantastic. good, cute family coaster, I'd say. I think it helps that we were there on a lovely day. You know, the sun was yeah. shining. We were all having a couple of beers. And I think it was like, we looked and we didn't realise it was like 11am, wasn't it? Or something. We're like, oh God, well, we're on holiday. <laughs> and that just all helps that, you know, having friends with you and, and the atmosphere. But then the coaster itself just did itself justice. It's so whippy and snappy. Mm. You know, some of the turns and the angles that you're hitting are just, just insane for a little... Well, it is a family coaster, but it had that little air of intenseness, didn't it? It had that little bit of extra spice. It does. And and I think, it, you know, the, the fact of the trains itself look absolutely incredible. They really do. Yeah. Um, the detail in them is, is amazing. And I think we, you're right what you're saying with it. When you're snapping here, there and everywhere, because you're quite open to the elements as well on them cars, it's it's quite intense. But um, overall, I mean, it's, it's, it's a good coaster. Would you think there's any negatives about it being a family coaster or is it, is it yeah at times with the bobsled coasters they can be a little bit wild mousy you know yeah. when some of the the unbanked turns and stuff but i don't feel like this is over the top criminal for that i feel like it the layout helps you know and some of the some of the bank turns and things and the the exchanges that you get to be fair i i think it's spot on for what it is the it's one of them that caters for everybody so we yeah. really enjoyed it the younger kids coming off smiling and laughing mum and dads who aren't you know enthusiasts come off smiling i feel like they hit it perfectly for that broad spectrum on this one i couldn't agree anymore lee absolutely 100 and what really surprised me the most about this entire ride is the fact of there's a playground right in the middle of it yeah <laughs> but it's like a, that? it's like a really cool high top adventure style thing you know like you'd see at go eight it's that kind of thing but the coaster's whizzing round and and some of them sort of create near misses tell you what wallaby belgium 
they, they've added a couple of spectacular rides in the last few years. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, you were saying earlier on, obviously, it's, it caters for everyone, so it's not going to be like, you know, a speeding roller coaster noise like because it only mm. goes 34 miles an hour. But like you said earlier on, with this whole, like, when it's got that climbing th uh, frame, kind of like high tops, yeah, you can get some amazing <laughs> off shots. Like, if you just get on there and you get some really good shots, oh, it's, yeah. it's amazing. It reminds amazing. me a little bit of, like, the Chinese maze at Blackpool. You know, you can go in there and climb yes. up and you get the shots of the big one. It's that kind of vibe where you're really close to the, the track. Um, and yeah, with that all being themed in with the same theme as the coaster, it just, just elevates that area. It's really, really spectacular. Yes. What do you reckon to the station? From what I can remember, it was, it was, it's all right. It's, mm. it's nothing It's like special. an open sided station, isn't it? Just a yeah. little, I think the queue area was okay. Um, but yeah, it's things like that. I feel like they could have maybe themed the station a little bit better. They could have closed it in, had maybe a soundtrack going. There was music, but it didn't seem like an individual, you know, tailored soundtrack. It was more like that Tiki vibes, you know, a little bit SpongeBob, Tiki Tiki. You know, that kind <laughs> of thing. Like, I, know, I know what you mean. It was mate. good though. It was good. Yeah. Um, so uh, do you know what? I think. Uh, I think we should. I think we should. You know, shall we rank it? Should we? Should we get down to brass tacks? Shall we? Shall we just get down to it and and see if it's going to be riding it pie or top five? Because I think we should do. So uh, here so. we go. Go on then, Lake. What do you reckon? So then? for me, mm, I think with it being such a unique coaster, for me anyway, it's, I, I don't see a lot of these about. I know that there is a an, an older Gerslauer bobsled over at Poulton's Park, Cobra. Yes. But it's the miles and worlds apart. You know, if somebody said that these are to totally different manufacturers, you'd, you'd believe them. Yeah. Because they are, I think Coast, uh, Cobra at Poulton's is a great coaster, but this is a fantastic coaster. Um, the layout, like I said, it's so individual. It, there's no rhyme or reason to it. You know, usually you go out and you come back and, yeah. and coasters sort of follow formulas, but I don't feel like this does. It just kind of does what the hell it wants. Yeah. Uh, it's it's not going to quite make a top five for me because it is a family coaster and it's, it's 30 mile an hour, 35 mile an hour top speed. But if you're doing 35 mile an hour down a country road, it feels faster and I feel like this is that, you know, it does feel faster than it is with the near misses. Uh, so for me, of course, it's going to be a ride it. Ride it. Mm, I generally ride thought, it. I generally thought when you, because you were big and upset and it is a good, don't get me wrong. It's a good oh, it's coaster. Great. It's a good, it's a I great family, it. Yeah, great family coaster. I genuinely thought you were going to go for a top five it. I genuinely, no, I, I honestly, hand on heart, I thought you were. Uh, <laughs> Pretty much mirroring what you're saying, Lee, is um, yeah, it's it's great for families. Um, I mean, mm. the layout is incredible. It's so, so good. good. Um, I mean, you get some really good uh, like airtime pockets here, there, and everywhere, especially mm. around that lake area. I mean, the detail of the cars itself as well. The station could do a bit better, you know, around there. Um, but overall, it's a uh, oh, this is a tough one. It is tough. It is. I was I was almost like, do I top five it in my family coasters? But the aim of the game here is to ride it, pie it, top five it. There's no, you know, there's no preference uh, on on what type of coaster it is. So for me, it had to be ride it. Do you know what? I'm going to have to jump with you, Lee. I'm going to ride yeah. it. I'm going to ride it, mate. Um, It just didn't make it. Maybe, I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. I can't change my mind. That's it. No, it's I'm riding a, It's it. a great supporting ride, isn't it, for Conda? Yes. It's so good. And it's something that maybe the younger audience can build up to Conda with yeah. Tiki Waka. And I feel like it plays its part so well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Lee, man. There it is, dude, mate. Uh, sorry, that was my phone going off. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So, at the end of the day, it's uh, Ride It Pirate Top 5. Guys, let us know in the comments below. Have you ridden uh, this uh, Tiki Waki? There you go, I said it. Tiki Waka. Oh, Tiki Waka. No, I, I knew he'd say it wrong. I told you he'd say it wrong. This is why we're here. This is the whole part of the episode. Oh, that. God. Tiki yeah. Waki. So let us know if you've uh, ridden it. Let us know, would you ride it, pie it, or top five it? Uh, guys, don't forget you can follow us on our social medias on Instagram and Facebook. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe and hit that bell icon every time we upload a new video. You will be notified. So I'm Dan. And I'm Lee. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Take care.